Hello, my lovely people. Today is Saturday, November 16th. Almost forgot my video. So this is a combination video, an update to the collards and cabbage challenge, along with just showing you what I'm doing in the garden. Garden. Here we go with me speaking wrong. Garden. <clears throat> and um, yeah, let me get to it. Here are my cabbages. As you can see, they're not real big, but I'm starting to get little, they're starting to fold into little cabbage balls. You know, we still got to next week. Something came and ate this, so we gotta do something about that. But look what's growing, onions. <laughs> the onions are popping up right now. They're starting to pop up. I'm happy they're starting to pop up. But these are all my cabbages. So I'm thinking these two will be in the cabbage challenge. Still have two of the giant cabbage that I need to put in containers, which I may do tomorrow. Okay, so here's the cabbage bed. You know, it's not as big, but you know what? They're still surviving, they're still growing. I'll take what I can get. And by the end of the season, I should have huge cabbage heads. Okay. Here are my collards. So I'll be entering this one and this one. Here are my mustards. And again, look, look what we got going. Uh, onion, 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 onion. The garlics have not come up yet, but that doesn't mean anything won't happen. Look at my mustard greens. Everything's doing it's holding on okay except I just saw this right now that's not good and that's not good gotta do a little bit trimmy trimmy on trimmy trimmy going on here but those are the collards okay I'm gonna be doing some um, fertilizing probably tomorrow these are the cauliflowers um, don't see any oh Look like an onion's popping up right there. One might be popping up back there, I don't know yet. We'll see. And Brussels sprouts. Um, I don't see any of the onions popping up yet, but that doesn't mean that they won't. This is not, this is not good. We're gonna pull that out, pull it out. No good, okay. Yeah, so. Let me go over here to my lettuce bed. I was actually in the middle of preparing the last third bed within the cattle panel here. And then I thought today is November 16th. Gotta get my video up. So here is my salad bar still hanging in there. The red lettuce is just kind of hanging in there. I'm gonna pull this out. That's, oops. That's doing okay. Yeah, I gotta do some trimming on the lettuce. Nothing has come up here and eaten anything. Here's the uh, kale. But yeah, everything seems to be doing okay. Let me show you what I've done so far. Let me come around here, get the sun out my face. Let me show you. This is the garlic bed. Um, I did not count the garlic but I planted elephant ear all around the perimeter and soften it garlic in the middle, okay? Here, I picked up, I picked the chamomile today. Um, here is my onion bed. I planted a total of 42 onion bulbs and I still have a lot left. Um, red, yellow, and white, all in this bed. Over here, the garden bed I'm working on. I actually used some fertilizer I got from the Heirloom Expo from Royal Gold. Check out my video from the Heirloom Expo. And um, it has 555 plus calcium, suitable for organic farming and gardening. Um, so all purpose fertilizer. I threw some of that in there today. So what I'm about to do here is um, plant my beans, my pole beans against the trellis. And then tomorrow I'm 
um, I'm probably going to go out, clean out these two containers right here and plant my big cabbages in those and probably put some more onions and garlic in this bed. Let me show you the cabbage seedlings I'm referring to. Um, they're pretty small. These are the two giant ones, but I want to grow them by themselves. Okay? Yeah, I want to grow them by themselves in a container. So let me show you the passion fruit plant. It's okay. It's doing okay. I figured out where I want to put it. I had to make an adjustment because the little area where I set up where I wanted the passion fruit, that's not going to work. They're very prolific. They're invasive and they definitely need their own area. If you ever want to see how passion fruit grows, there are many videos on passion fruit plants. So this is an apricot plant, apricot tree. I have not been happy with this tree at all. So I want to pull this tree out. And I think I'm, what I'm going to do is do a garden bed like this, like the grapevine, probably a little bit shorter, and put cattle panel in it and have it come from here to here. To here, sorry. And that's where the passion fruit will go. It's very prolific. It likes to climb on walls. It does need a trellis. Um, one guy said that passion fruit can get so heavy that it actually broke its cattle panel trellis. So make sure whatever trellis you put it on, it's very sturdy to hold it. Okay? So right now the passion fruit is going to stay in that container. And you guys know I'm good at keeping stuff in containers for months. Hopefully it won't have to be months. But that's where the passion fruit is going to stay. Um, hopefully I'll get it into a garden bed over there and I'm going to put together before the end of this year sometime in January because I can't put it this is where I wanted to put it I don't know what I was thinking but I wanted to plant it plant it on this side right here and then I have this little trellis thing going over here do 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 right and then have it land over there. Now, vegetation doesn't always grow the way you want it to grow. And that little thing, it would have tore it down in two seconds. So, I am switching it up. How did I drop my glove in there? Sorry. I am going to switch it up and give it its own bed. And hopefully, this will be the last plant that I propagate by, grow or whatever, that's gonna be doing something like that. I already got my grapevine, I grow my loofahs, I have my cattle panel. I love my cattle panel. Um, hopefully this passion fruit plant won't be, <laughs> won't be, what, 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 what did the modern woman like to, uh, a high, won't be a high level man, a high level, a high level plant for me. It might be too high level for me okay but I'm gonna try it I'm not gonna give up <laughs> I'm gonna try it because I want passion fruit everybody talks about how good passion fruit is and you know me if I grow this thing in this prolific and the fruit sucks it will be taken out of the ground and I will find something else to put over there to replace it okay so that is my update on the collards and cabbage and also what I'm doing in my garden um, it's gonna I got about a good hour so um, let me go ahead finish the garden bed plant my pole peas my pole beans and my sugar snap peas and then I'll be done for today so as I always say please find peace within yourself and please be peaceable with everyone around you I love you all have a fabulous Saturday bye bye